Modern Warfare, easy kill. Hey, y'all done brought the demon out, man. Got to do the easy kill, Modern Warfare 2 for 2, man. So look, they talking big three, man. There might be some open hey. Fight Fiend Forecast. I'm Joseph, the host, back for the Props and Parlay show for UFC Vegas 91. And I got to get through this video quick. It's 10 o'clock already, so I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to break down the one fight that I forgot to predict. James Luntop and Gabe Green. Thankfully, Gabe Green pulled out of that fight. Now, we got Chris Padilla stepping in here on short notice. It's a short notice switch up here for James Luntop as well here from Peru. Coming off the Dana White Contender Series, he couldn't find the finish. I was picking him to win by a decision, but now that he's fighting a guy here that's not as good as Gabe Green, I think he's going to get the finish and finish the fight inside the distance. He has seven knockouts, one submission, so I'm leaning the knockout. Pretty heavily leaning the knockout for sure. Chris Padilla, he's 13-6. and six. He's just taking his chance at the UFC here, short notice in the first round. He's going to be guns a-blazing. He has seven wins by knockout as well. Four submissions and only two decision wins. He's been finishing his fights in the first round as well. Six knockouts in the first round and three submissions in the first round. So, you know, very likely that he wins in the first round if he is to win. But, you know, his last win was Justin Jane, 16-9. and nine. And his two wins before that were 15-11, and 7-5. and five. I'm not picking him to win this fight. I don't even think he has a chance in this one. His last two fights did not finish in the first round. And they were 16-9, and 15-11. and 11. He lost a split decision to a guy that was 20-12. and 12. He lost a unanimous decision to a guy that was 6-4. and four. Got submitted to a guy that was Gabe Green at the time. Back in Bellator 2018. So, I mean... This is a much easier fight for James Luntop. That's why he's a 4-1 to one favorite. He has a lot more power on the feet. He's going to be more accurate. I think he's fine the knockout in this fight. He has a height advantage. He does not have the reach advantage, though. I mean, Padilla's wild. So he's going to be looking for that first round finish. I think he gets caught and countered. I'm fairly confident as well. 4-1 to one favorite. I'm going James Luntop for the win here. Four years younger. He's going to be a good prospect coming from Peru. Let's keep our eyes on him. I would have liked to see him fight a higher level opponent than Chris Padilla here, stepping in short notice. You know, originally he was supposed to fight Gabe Green. Maybe they can reschedule that. I'd love to see it. And the next thing I would love to see is the forecast of the week to cash in. Now, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Danielle Brooks. I'm sorry. I had to choose you as the forecast of the week. You're choosing Kareen Silva by submission. Now, I'm going to give you an option. I'm going to give all the forecasters an option. You take this one inside the distance, plus 135. But if you do like the submission, you want to sprinkle on that, plus 275. Either way, I think Kareem Silva finishes this fight fairly easily. First, second round here. Ariana Lipsky, she's been knocked out four times and never submitted, but she's never fought a girl like Kareem Silva on the ground. Has she? Like, she's never fought a decent grappler that can actually submit her. Most of the time... She can reverse the position and get her own submission. In this fight, I don't see that happening. Kareem Silva will be the more dominant grappler. I don't think she can find a knockout, to be honest. I forecasted her potentially going the distance, and honestly, I could see that happening again. So the forecast of the week might not shine. She might win a decision, and that's looking pretty valuable as well. I almost added it in here, but I'm going to lean finish for Kareem Silva. She's going to get it done most likely by submission as well. I agree with Danielle Brooks. That's what I originally was feeling, that she was going to be the first one ever to smack Ariana Lipsky and get the submission. Like, she's never been smacked on the ground. She's been smacked four times on the feet, knocked out four times, but she's never been submitted. I thought I'd get a more valuable price as well, to be honest. Like, looking at the submission, it's more likely than the knockout. It's more likely. So, if it's not the submission, honestly, inside the distance, I gave you that option, but I'd honestly lean the decision. I didn't make it a prop of the week or anything like that, but I honestly have a weird feeling Kareem Silva could win a decision. Now, looking at Kareem Silva, she doesn't have many decision wins. She has finished her last couple fights by submission, and I think the streak is going to continue. 
She won her last eight fights. Her last six fights were submission wins. Her last three were in the first round as well. Like, I don't really see it being a decision, but Lipsky is tough. She's fought high-level competition, but at this point, I have to think Karina Silva is much higher level. And the Brazilians are rolling right now. My last three locks, all Brazilians in this week, I had to find a Brazilian lock on this card. And I'm telling you right now, Karina Silva is, is, is one of them on this stinky card. You know it's a stinky card? I was forced into a stinky underdog pick. So I'm I'm taking a a women's fight as a lock of the week, Kareen Silva, and it's a great price. And I'm going to talk about the locks in a minute. I got one more lock with Kareen Silva, but first I'll give you my props of the week. Now, none of these props are locks of the week. I'm telling you that right now, but they are fairly confident picks for me. The value is there. It's going to double your money. And first up on the prelim forecast, I'm giving you Mahashete by knockout, TKO, or DQ. It's the first fight of the night. Do not miss this fight. He's fighting a 35-year-old who's on his way out of the UFC. Like He's definitely on his way out. Gabriel Benitez is going to get battered in this fight. Mahashete is sharp. Super sharp. Accurate. Powerful. He has a putback right hand. And he can counter any strike that Gabriel Benitez is going to push forward with. If he's pushing forward. I think he's going to be backpedaling for the most part. Machete is going to be pushing forward and searching for this knockout finish. It's plus 110. It's going to double your money like I said. And my next prop of the week, which is my main card forecast, is Ryan Spann in the very first round. Come on now, plus 135, it's the same price as Kareem Silva inside the distance. These plus 135s are going to get smacked by the forecasters. Ryan Spawn, Superman, I know I said it wasn't the most entertaining co-main event, but I think we can agree that the UFC has made this fight because it's entertaining, and they're looking for a first-round finish to get Ryan Spawn back in the win column here. He's coming off a loss. Where maybe he should have won against Anthony Smith. The company man got it done by a decision. But Ryan had some big moments in that fight. In the first round, that's where he has the most gas, the most power. And on the ground, he could even get a submission too. You look at Bogdan Gazkov, he got submitted to Volkan Ozdemir, who does not get many finish wins, let alone submission wins. I think Ryan Spann is not only live for the submission, but he's live for the knockout. And it's going to happen in the very first round. I mean, Volkan Ozdemir finished Gazkov in the first round. And even before the UFC, Gazkov was finished in the first round as well. So why not smash this bet for Ryan Spawn? Very first round. That's how he's going to do it. Looking at his last couple wins here, all in the first round. Ion Kutalaba. Submitted him in the first round, and he knocked out Dominic Reyes in the very first round with that power jab. I talked about it on the Full Curve Prediction Show. He's going to set up the submission if he gets it with that power jab. His jab is what is going to win him this fight. Like If he gets the knockout, it's probably going to be from the jab leading up to a hook. If the jab just doesn't knock him out clean in the first, what, 20, 30 seconds, I think it's going to be quick. Easy work. Proved that Goskov really isn't UFC caliber. And like I said, when he was outside of the UFC in 2020, he lost in the first round by knockout to a guy that was 33-8. and eight. Not too bad, but still got knocked out in the very first round. His last two losses are in the first. You know, it's, it's a pattern that's happening here. I'm going to think if he loses, and he's an underdog, he's expected to lose. It's going to be in the first round. I got to take that plus 135 for Ryan Spawn. You know, you don't love him as a big favorite on the money line, but fuck, you got to love this first round prop. That's for sure. I think both of my props are very sharp, along with Danielle Brooks. I know she's not the most confident in that submission, but you watch it hit now. She didn't want me to choose her, but you can take it inside the distance, Kareen Silva. You can take her to win with my locks as well. My other lock, that's going to double your money. Whatever you want to do. I'm just here to give you my opinion. Let you know what some of the forecasters are doing. 
give you some of my bets, stuff like that. If you want to see all my bets, my confidence levels, the method of victories, how I think each and every fighter will win, what round. And then you also get early access to my locks of the week, the dog, the props, the forecast of the week. So you don't have to wait till Saturday morning. You can get it Friday night, Thursday night, Wednesday. Sometimes I have the locks out Monday, Sunday. I'm right on the ball. But this week it was a stinky card. I had taxes to do for my business. I had a lot to do this week. So now Thursday night, I made the locks. Today I made the props. I'm behind, but we're going to get some buckets of money. I cannot wait. And I'll give you my locks right now. Since I'm talking about it, we're on the topic. I want you to smash Kareem Silva. You already know it. And Yonato Denin's plus 133. You know, if you want a full description on this, join my Discord absolutely free. I'm going to do a big paragraph on why I think these fighters will win. And then on Instagram, I might do a short video. So follow me on Instagram. Follow me on X, Twitter. I'm going to be on all platforms. TikTok as well. I got to do some YouTube shorts on top of all that. That's the most important thing. That helps the algorithm. Comment below helps with the algorithm as well. I put a lot of work into the content, custom content for everybody. You know, you don't want to see some boring ass shit. And unfortunately, I don't have a dog of the week play that's super good for you this week. It's plus 100. <coughs> Simple, double your money play. On the money line, though. <coughs> I don't know if he's going to win by knockout, decision, submission. Don Tail Maze, though. This guy, he's my only dog of the week. I'm forced into the play. And I think he's going to be forcing Kyle Machado into some grappling. You know, take him to the ground, get some ground and pound, some control time. If the judges want to score that, I don't, I don't think they will. But you know, get some takedowns, all right? Get a cup, get a couple at least. I know the judges aren't going to score it. Worth a fuck. And the disadvantage for Don Tail is the volume of strikes in this fight. Like Kyle Machado will have a better cardio and output. But Don Tail Mays will have the power, the experience. He has wins against higher level competition. I got to pick him to win. Plus 100. He's the only underdog that I have low to medium confidence in. That's what I'm giving you. Don Tail Mays, plus 100. If you don't like it, don't take it. Take Kyle Machado. But I wouldn't recommend it. All right? I would not recommend it. Before I go, I will give you one more treble bet here. From a forecaster in the comments on YouTube. I almost forgot it. Sorry, Draft Goon. But you gave me three forecasts of the week. We can make it a treble bet. So you got Janato Denin's KO, Karine Silva's submission. And then you're going to take Ryan Spawn inside the distance. And I'm showing you the bet right now. $25 pays out over $200. So one unit for me is 25 bucks which is 1% bankroll. So $25 is one unit. I'm going to be looking to bet this treble bet for Draft Goon. You know, we're taking Silva by submission. We could put it in a treble bet with two other outcomes that we're picking with pretty high confidence on this card. So let's hope Draft Goon brings us a big win here. We want buckets of money on this card. And it's going to be a bloodbath. It's going to be a little bit stinky at times. But nonetheless, you know the forecasters are going to show up, do our best, and get this bread. I'm doing fight predictions each and every fight card on top of possibly doing NHL, NBA predictions to end the playoffs here. After round one, the end of round one, I might do a couple of NHL videos, basketball videos, you know what I mean? Because in Patreon, for $5 a month... I have sports bets going each and every day. And I'm putting near 100 down almost every day. So for $5 a month, just seeing the sports bets alone is phenomenal value. You know, I got a couple free forecasters in there now because they want to give away. They're in the platinum membership for the rest of the year seeing my bets. And they really like the sports bets. So even if they don't hit, like, they're one or two off. I'm not just giving you a simple money line either. I'm giving you a big plus money parlay. They're coming close, and when they hit, they more than pay for $5 a month now. For $5 a month, which is almost the same price as a bottle of Prime, 
I mean, you can join my Patreon and start winning with Fight Fiends and Forecasters today. And don't forget before you go, please smash that like button, suplex the subscribe button if you're new. And also, comment below, help with the algorithm. Love to hear from the Forecasters and Fight Fiends. <laughs>